Hello friends, welcome to learning ETAP training series. So far we have discussed how to read the architectural drawing, how to define the grids, how to define the material properties, how to define the sectional properties, how to model ground floor, first floor, second floor, balcony and how to assign the fixed supports and we have also seen that uh, how to read the staircase drawings in order to get started with the staircase modeling. So now after getting all this information, now we are going to start staircase modeling. If you have missed any one of these videos, please check out those videos in order to get started step by step learning with this training series. So if you will be go to the AutoCAD drawing, then here clearly you can see in the elevation that uh, from this elevation, from this plinth level, the vertical height of this waste slab is 3 foot 6 inches. And again that is a vertical height that is 2 feet 4 inches. So that is these two reference plane that we will be required first in our elevation view. So we will go to the ETAPS and we will go to the draw. First of all we have to set the elevation view. So click on elevation view and click on elevation at 1 1. And now click on draw, click on reference plane and first we have to enter distance 42 inches and then click on this point so as you can see reference plane 1 has been plotted at a distance of 42 inches and reference plane 2 at a distance of 28 inches so two reference plane has been plotted so first is 3 foot 6 inches that is uh, 42 inches and second one is 2 feet 4 inches that is 28 inches now after uh, drawing the elevation view we will go uh, after drawing the reference plane in elevation view we will go to the plot some of the reference points in the plan view so first of all we will go to the plan view set plan view and click on ground floor plan view so now this is our ground floor plan view okay so now in the ground floor plan view if you will be see the plan of the ground floor of the, our building here the first point reference point that we will require that is at a distance of 4 feet that is 48 inches second one is 4 feet 2 inches that is 50 inches and last one is 3 foot 9 inches that is uh, 45 inches again and uh, from here the vertical distance is 3 foot 9 inches that is 45 inches and again downward 2 feet 6 inches that is 30 inches and again downward 3 foot 9 inches that is 45 inches so these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 these 10 points we will be required in order to get started modeling in staircase in ETAPS so we will go to the ETAPS we will first go to the plan view and set plan view to the ground floor plan view and now what we will do, we will do click on draw menu and we will click on draw reference points. Here we will specify the distance. So first is 48 inches, 48 foot, 48 inches. So that is 4 feet, so 48 and we will click on first point here. And then after 50 inches in the positive x direction. Now we are going to negative y direction. So x direction is 0, y direction is 45 inches but negative and we will click first point here, second point here, third point here and then after we are going negative 30 inches and then after negative 45 inches. So these are the points which are to be required in order to get started modeling in ETAPS. So as you can see, 4 feet from here that is 48 inches, 4 feet 2 inches that is uh, 50 inches and then after 3 foot 9 inches that is 45 inches. So this 2 point distance is 45 inches. Vertically if you will be top 3 foot 9 that is 45, 2 feet 6 inches that is 30 inches and then after 3 foot 9 inches that is about 45 inches again so now from next video we will start modeling of slab 
in Stärke ist. 